I think everyone from my era, Ricky Ponting is one of their one of their heroes. Two time World Cup winning captain, three time player, and someone who rose to the occasion every time the the game was on the line. He's one of the best of the best. That's what Ricky Ponting is, and and in that comes not just skill but character. He's tough. Everything that we talk about in the elite people of Australian cricket, he ticks every box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I was working at um, West Australia, I always had a saying up on my wall in my office. I never went to Harvard, but I employ a lot of people who did. And guys like Ricky, uh, they are Harvard graduates by of the greatest ilk. Dick, He's been on the back for 12 or 18 months to, to get involved back involved in Australian cricket. And look, uh, I love it. We, we are very, very close. And look, to be totally honest, if it wasn't him coaching that World Cup squad, I'm, I mightn't have gone back and, and been around the team. The game's in my blood and coaching's in my blood and trying to make people better is what I get a lot of joy out of. Try and improve people, that's what coaching's all about. So I'm not gonna let a minute go by or a training session go by where if I think something's not quite right, then I'm not gonna put in the, the time myself to, to fix it. The thing that you have to, with your timing, is getting that right with your feet moving at the same time. The best thing about him is he's yeah. so humble. Um, when he's around the team, he's just like another, he's like another lad. That bounced, that actually bounced a bit, that one. The energy he brings to the room, the passion, he's inspiring. When he goes to training, he's just throwing balls and he looks like he's having the most fun ever. If you stand like that, and then if your back knee goes that way at all, where does that make everything else go? That makes me go a bit quicker. So your hands and your back automatically go further out there. So it's okay for you to stand that way, but have that knee flip. I think if someone knows a topic really, really well, they can simplify it easily. And he does that, just breaks it down to one or two little things gives you real clarity and, and suddenly you go, oh, it's easy. You know, I'm batting like Ponting now. <laughs> He's just got a brain just built for cricket. If Punner says it, it's right. It has to be right. It's Punner. Like, that's, that's just the Punner effect. It doesn't matter what, what sport we're talking about. If you're talking about a drop punt in AFL and you've got Alex Carey who's played AFL teaching us for Punner, I'm going with Punner. Yes, For me, the less I do, the better. Like, that's my biggest Almost thing. Almost feeling like you're underdone when you're going to advance. 100%. And that's, I was always a bit sane. That's the biggest thing I learned in the last 12 months was just, like, giving yourself that, that time. It's almost like you know you've done the work over the years, so you're not losing it. Yeah. So. If, for myself, to get myself ready, my preparation, you don't want it to come across to look lazy. So I know it's, I know it's not lazy, and other people have trained the same way as well. That's why I said to JL the other day, he asked me what, what was up. I said, I'm not, nothing's up. I said, it's just the fact that I don't, I, I don't like going into, so I'll have a net session against our quicks, but then leading into the game, I don't need to face them. Like doing stuff like this, and this is, is good. I won't normally hit this much before a proper game, but I'll just, work on 20 minutes of solid hitting the ball out of the middle yeah. and then making sure you know, I'm just fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mate.